Welcome everyone, I'm Tommy, this is Diecast Emporium. Let's spend the next several minutes talking about a great set from Diecast Masters. This is the 150th scale Diecast Masters Evolution or Evolution set on Caterpillar Scrapers. This is one of my favorite series that Diecast Masters has done for a number of reasons, but namely because it incorporates the history of Caterpillar by giving you one of the oldest pieces of equipment and also providing you with a one of the newest pieces of that same equipment in a boxed set. Before we get to unboxing this and reviewing the models inside, I just wanted to give you a very quick synopsis of where we came from, where Caterpillar came from, and where they stack up in the overall history of scrapers. So to do that, we have to go back to the early part of last century. And what may surprise a lot of people is that Caterpillar really wasn't big into the scraper game initially. In fact, they didn't invent the scraper. There were companies like Letourneau at the time and Russell and a lot of other ones that were much more um, into scrapers than Caterpillar was. However, no company has done more over the last 70 plus years to define and innovate the scraper as a machine. Cat's first scraper was the number 70, and it was launched in 1946, a year after the end of World War II. It was designed to be matched with the D7 tractor, which Caterpillar called, quote, a complete package earth mover, end quote. Moving forward, the 621K, which is the new version of the scraper that's in this set, was introduced in 2014, and currently it is the smallest scraper in the Caterpillar lineup. So that's some information about Cat. That's really bare-bones information about Cat scraper history. But scrapers have a whole, as a whole were instrumental, along with probably the bulldozer, of building this country from coast to coast. After World War II, uh, many people were coming home and they wanted to travel. The country was booming. Uh, people could afford cars and they wanted to go on vacation and travel. So they helped develop the interstate highway system. So really, we would not have an America that we know today without the invention of the scraper. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. This is the box that the model was delivered to me in. And it's pretty much the same as when we compare to the other models in the Evolution series. Diecast Masters Evolution series, Cat 621K Scraper, Cat number 70 Scraper, and D7 Track Type Tractor. Collectible Diecast Scale Model Replicas. Same thing over here. Diecast Masters Real Replicas. And your item number 85563. So these open unusually. This is just your slide-off sleeve, which you can do one of two ways. If it cooperates, you can take it off like I'm doing by sliding it off the top. And then we actually have the model's box. So on the front of it, you can see a 621K, and then here's the Model 70 scraper being towed by a D7 tractor. There's the logo, 150th scale. On the back, here we go. So I'm going to read you this quick little paragraph here, which is going to sound very familiar. While Caterpillar did not invent the scraper, it's safe to say that no company has done more to define the category and create the demand for the product over the past 70 plus years. From simple tractor towed scrapers in the 1940s through the technology packed cat wheel tractor scrapers of today. And you can see it also has the logo for the uh, antique caterpillar um, machinery owners club.org down here. All right, so how exactly do you open this? Well, you open it up just like this. Hopefully, you can see that on camera. I will try to tilt it a little bit. Over here on the back, over here on the back, you have some uh, reprints of the cover of real brochures for the machines back in the day. So here's a cover for the highways and byways built with Caterpillar earth moving equipment. And this is for a 621H wheel tractor scraper. Also included in the set, you have of course the catalog with all the 
uh, models in the Diecast Masters cat range. And then it could be argued, at least I would argue, that I enjoy this just as much as I enjoy the models in the Evo series. So this is a ring-bound book, rather thick as you can see, chock full of history, information, and pictures uh, about the machine that the sets are representing. So in this case, of course, it would be about scrapers. It starts off at the beginning, very beginning, gives you a history, and then it goes on as we go from toad scrapers onto the DW21 and then the 600 series, which are now wheel tractor scrapers, of course. And then it goes on to today's scrapers that we see today. It, it explains the, um, the cat tactic of push-pull. Here it shows you the new 651 scraper, modern hex. Here's a complete milestones timeline of Caterpillar evolution. So it's just really, really cool. I love these books, uh, and if you consider yourself a fan of heavy equipment, honestly, I would pick up the Evolution sets just to have these books. They're beautifully presented. All right, let's get the actual models out of here so we can start taking a look at them. I could talk about the book all day. But first, we have more things to get out of the top layer, and they are in here very, very tightly. We have a canopy here. Caterpillar Power for the D7 tractor. And we have Grandpa Bob. You can see him here. Sharply dressed. All right, that's the first layer. Take this off. Take the second layer off. No question that the packaging is top notch. You know your models are going to arrive safely. All right. Here we go. And here is the Scraper Evolution set in all its glory. All right. Let's get some quick assembly done. Of course, this is optional. We're going to put Grandpa Bob behind the joysticks of the Cat D7 track type tractor. Put him on here nice and carefully because there are some levers and such in the way. Get him tucked down in and nice and secure. And then because we don't want him to get sunburned or any of that nonsense, let's put up his umbrella, which slides right into the provided hole on the D7 tractor. Make some adjustments so that it stays nice and in there. And there we go. So, the base plate is plastic. Hopefully I can do this. If not, I'll just read it off to you. Uh, written in here and engraved in silver is CAT 621K and then CAT number 70 and D7. Let's try and pick this up. Can't guarantee Grandpa Bob's not going to come tumbling out. So you have CAT 621K, CAT number 70, and D7. On this side, you have the Diecast Masters Evolution Series, which is facing, obviously, the way that the machines are. But if I showed it to you this way, you probably couldn't see it very well. Now, you can remove both of these models from the base, if you desire to do so. And that's because you can see the screws underneath. You need a Phillips screwdriver. Simply undo those screws, and you're rocking and rolling. All right, let's start off with the scraper that we are most familiar with, 621K. You have seen this model reviewed several times on this channel. If you have not, I'll give you a quick synopsis. Started life out in 2014, 2015 as a Tonkin Replicas Caterpillar model Diecast Masters, through the acquisition of Tonkin Replicas and Norscott, acquired the tooling. They released it a year later as a Diecast Masters Highline Series model, where they fixed some of the, let's say, fragile parts that would frequently break off, and they updated the functionality slightly. To me, there's very little difference from the 2015 release. Um, 
of the Highline series. So that's good because it was a great model then. It's a great model now. Bob is in the operator's cab. It doesn't appear as though he is removable. And again, he wasn't removable back in 2015 either. You can see that there's a lot of intricate detailed either hydraulic lines uh, or casted in detail. There's even some warning labels. The tires have a very good tread pattern on them. And if you look inside the wheels, you can see the bolt details very clearly here. It's a very sharp looking uh, scraper itself. In terms of functionality, you can make it go low. You can open up and the ejector does move forward and back. I'll try and do that carefully for you. You see that? You can also go back. So it's a pretty functional scraper. Um, nothing terrible to say about it at all. Great model. If you're looking for uh, one of the smallest scrapers in the cat line, or the currently the smallest scraper in the cat line, can't go wrong with that. Now, over here to what I think is the pride of this set. So we have a D7 track type tractor pulling the number 70 wheeled scraper. So you can see that, at least to me, the shade of highway yellow, which is what they would have used back in the day, the cat highway yellow, is pretty close. Looks good to me. The rubber wheels do have a realistic tread pattern, and it's that old tread pattern that you would have seen back in the day. Smaller wheels on the front, much, much larger wheels on the back. You can see that here. There is some black detailing for where your cabling and such would go. There is a massive um, piece that I would have done significantly different on here because I feel as though it hurts the overall presentation of the model. So again, these are not hydraulic machines. Pretty easy, right? They would be um, a rope or cable specifically through here. And as you can see, these black lines look, even though they're coming out of the winch of the back of the D7, they look very flexible. They look as though they are, um, that they are hydraulic lines. So I would have done something much, much differently, but I know that that will potentially um, turn off a lot of collectors, specifically some of the older people in the collection. But other than that, I feel as though it looks pretty darn good. The ejector mechanism works, and it has the Caterpillar logo written in back, the old school Caterpillar logo. I believe you can open up the, yes, you can. You can open up the apron, and it does go down and up. You just gotta be a little bit careful with it. Lastly, we'll take a look at the D7, which is the tractor that's pulling it. Again, we've got Bob hard at work behind the joysticks and almost sitting in his seat. Tracks are metal. They look pretty good. Cat D7, Caterpillar. The engine panels have been removed for better um, airflow and ventilation for heat. There's your exhaust. Moving to the front. The grill. You may not notice this immediately, but the grill is perforated through on the front of the D7. A very, very nice touch. And then, of course, you have two forward-facing lights, which look really, really good. Overall, here's my conclusion. The Diecast Masters 1 to 50 scale Caterpillar Scraper Evolution or Evolution set is absolutely worth the money. If you are a fan of vintage heavy equipment, uh, scrapers in general, or just Caterpillar models, I would not hesitate to add one of these to your collection. They look great posed next to the other um, handful or so of the Evolution Evolution sets that Diecast Masters has released already. And uh, I can only presume that there are going to be more of those sets uh, released shortly in the near future. So that's it. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, maybe something I didn't address in the video that you have questions about, please, by all means, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.